Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 15. Read expressions in which letters stand. Okay, so we had an opening exercise in class where students were to come up with other words other than what is given up here for these operations in math. And so I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to bring those in. See if you can copy down some on your own. And then what you're missing, add to it after you pause the video. Okay, so now check your list to see if you had these. And if not, add to, add to your list. For addition, we have some add more than total together in all, increase by, and plus, and so on and so on. Okay? Um, I'm going to focus, though, on this word here and this word here. Those are both seen a lot in word problems. Five miles per hour. Three hours, five times three. Fifteen miles in three hours. That's the type of problem we see there. Okay, so make sure you know all of these terms and that they go with these operations. And we are going to move on now to example one. It says write an expression using words. So I could simply say A minus B, or how about B less than A, okay? There's all kinds of different ways we can do this. Now I'll just give a couple. X, Y next to each other, D, product of X and Y, or simply X times So that's what this is all about, writing expressions. Okay, now it gets a little bit more complex, part C. This would be four, excuse words, four times F plus P. D minus the cubed root of b. That's not the cubed root. What am I thinking? d minus <laughs> d minus d cubed. That's bad. What was I thinking? All right, let's change colors. Maybe that was the reason. Now this is 5 times the quantity, u minus 10. So I'm going to say that. 5 times the quantity. u minus 10. Plus... Okay, this one is the quotient of three and the sum of d plus plus. Okay, so you get the idea. Now, down here in the exercise, it says to circle all the vocabulary words, plural, that can be used to describe the given expression. There could be more than one answer. So, pause the video, see if you can do these four, and then unpause the video and see if you're correct. Okay, so I have 6 times H. Okay, that's multiplication. Minus 10, subtraction. There is no division, there is no addition. In this one, number two, we have five times D. That's a product. We have five times D, the product, divided by six, which is a quotient. This is minus, this is plus. Neither one are there, so that's just those two. Number three, this is five times the quantity two plus D, so there's multiplication. We have two plus D, which is addition. And then we're subtracting eight. The only thing we aren't doing is dividing 
A, B, C, more than means to add. We don't have any pluses. Less than means to subtract. We don't have any of those. A, B, C means A times B times C. And then the word each, that would be a number times something. Three times B. Okay. We have three baseballs that cost $5 each. Then be three times the $5. Also. So there is no three. There is no coefficient variable there. It's just variables. All right. Write an expression using the vocabulary to represent each given expression. Okay. I'm going to give you time to do 5 through 10. I will pause the video. And when it's unpaused, it'll magically have the words all typed up for you. And so I won't take the time to write them. As I go, I will discuss them after I bring them. And voila, here we go. Number five, eight minus two times G. Okay, so we could say eight minus the product of two and G, or we could say two times G subtracted from eight, or we could say eight decreased by G doubled. That's interesting. And six, possible answers would be 15 times the quantity of A increased by C, or the product of 15 and the sum of A and C, or 15 multiplied by the total of A and C. Number seven, the sum of M and N divided by five, the quotient of the total of M and N and five. M plus N split into five equal groups, okay? For 8, b cubed minus 18. I just read that, and that's the first possible answer. The other way we could say it is b to the third power decreased by 18. Or we could say 18 less than b cubed. There's many we can do. Number 9, possible answers. f minus the quotient of d and 2. d split into two groups and then subtracted from f. d divided by 2 less than f. And finally, u over x could be said, u divided by x, the quotient of u and x, u divided into x plus x. Okay. Wow, that was quick, short, sweet. I think that's the shortest video I've ever made. That's the end of lesson 15. Go to the problem set.